what is AI? Artificial intelligence is a general term for anything that allows computers to carry out human-like behaviors, including rule-based programming. Um, computers, artificial intelligence can scrape websites, can scrape every article, every single blog, and what we're at is the crux where computer performance is outdoing human performance. That's where when it comes to artificial intelligence, I want you to see here, when it comes to generative AI, that's a small, small subset of deep learning. Whereas AI is so much bigger than your funny cat videos or a funny picture that you put on, on Facebook. Right? The four big lanes of artificial intelligence, machine learning. Think about your emails. You don't think about spam emails. And those companies that you subscribe to just to get the free download but don't want them to talk to you again, AI said you don't ever open them, and you taught them through predictive analytics that you don't want this anymore, and it went to spam. Then you have um, neural networks. Neural networks, image recognition systems. You know those CAPTCHA security pictures where they put a picture of a bike and they have all these blocks on it, and they say make, select all the blocks that have the bike in it. And this is an example of a neural network, right, where you're actually teaching the system what a bicycle is. Right? Then we get to deep learning. And deep learning is the first time we really saw that was accessible to us, and that was Siri or Alexa or Amazon or even my meta glasses, where you're able to have a conversation with a particular set of data that can search the internet and give you conversation. And then we get to generative AI. And generative AI is what we get now, a small subset, where we get something that can generate something new. Chat GPT simply means generative free train transformer. It was trained on a particular set of data that now has a chance to access the entire web. This is a picture I took at NVIDIA's conference a couple weeks ago where Jordan Wong, J Jensen Wong, the CEO, the, he said the first stop, surf, serpent AI was perceptive AI, where it, it was image recognition, where you had simple things in, uh, like Siri and Alexa, then you had generative AI where you can make something new. We're right now entering the age of agentic AI, AI with agency, AI that can reason, AI that doesn't need humans to have as much input but can think for itself and surmise what you want. We're getting to a space now, we're really looking at how can AI think for itself and perform tasks for humans and become humanoid robots.